What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Alex, and this is gonna be part two of the birthday pickups. Um, um, I treated myself, didn't even celebrate my birthday like that, to be honest. Really just got good food and bought myself clothes. I'll link part one in the description. But without further ado, uh, let me just show you guys some of the things that we got. And now let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, first pickup. First pickup. So I went to the Rose Bowl flea market. Um, I did a video on it. It's my first time ever there. I know you could spend the whole day there, but I didn't get to because it's Super Bowl Sunday. But I still went with the mission because the parking was like $20. And there's the year I got to buy a ticket too. So I was like, all right, I got to buy something. So while I was there, found some stuff. I'll show it in the video, let me just go over it real quick. Found this Cure, the Cure Boys on Cry shirt. I thought the green on this was super cool. The wash was sick. It's actually a LL Bean shirt, so it's not really like vintage like that. But I, th I just thought it was a cool graphic. My dad put me onto his song, and I thought he only listened to Journey, so that was pretty cool. Next, next shirt that I bought, it's gonna be this Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid shirt. We got Snake in the cut. Red camel on gun. I got like this nice like pixely uh, graphic, I think. So you kind of see it just all looks really dotted. And then after that on the back hit, of course. And I'm pretty sure this is just like a company that makes shirts. Like it says like boot XIX by Thrift Live. It looked like an Instagram page at the bottom there. So it's not quite vintage, but I really don't care. I really just like the graphics. And I already addressed this in my last video, but they're saying, oh, like, you don't know Snake like that. Like, why would you buy a Metal Gear Solid Snake? Production, please run the clip. Hit a little hard, out of spot, I went feeling it. Little twin wigger trying to get your little ceiling hit. Come to your hood trying to get your little city lit. Shoot a little stick till they hot, fuck a cooler kid. Why you a bitch? You still drink, hit him up. Left little twin at that spot cause he finished it. Easy for us to get dropped cause you send a hit. Try to come spin on they block, get your whip in it. Push to the trap, whip, rent it. Black tent, you can't see in it. Get the drop, we just creep in it. Check the word, ain't even peep in it. I'm at that hood. So, I mean, as you can see, like, we, we do this snake shit. We do, we really do this Metal Gear. So, got this. Uh, shout out to the Rose Bowl, definitely gonna hit it up again. Okay, so the next pickup, shout out to the good people of Stussy, shout out to the good people of Art Legacy. They had the most recent drop and this piece caught my eye because I remember they dropped it last time. I'm driving on the road literally trying to cop with my phone and it sells out and I wasn't able to get it, but luckily they re-released it. So, you know, I made sure to cop it this time. It's gonna be the Art Legacy runner fleece right here. So, I'm pretty sure it's like this nice Wool. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put some words right here, but it's this nice wool fleece that we got going on. What makes this pretty cool is uh just this collar shape right here. So people, we got like this fleece, no buttons right there. So this this area getting exposed, and it has like the fleece going on. Cool our legacy tag right here, right? And then the extra details right here, it's like yin and yang, but you can like you can make it out on camera, but in person, no one's gonna catch that. We got the workshop, our legacy workshop tag right here with Stussy, super sick. And yeah, that that's that's pretty much it. Um, the thing is, I don't know what the shape is called, but I've only seen our legacy do it, and I've seen uh, Cactus Plant Flea Market do it. So I, I'm in. All right, and while we're on the topic of Stussy, got this from the most recent drop. It's gonna be the Stussy shell jacket, the Baja print. And uh, first of all, I gotta say. I'm a big, big fan of these shell jackets. I love this. He's been coming out with them. So when they dropped this one, I know this is when they shot that campaign. I think they went to like Mexico. I, I just knew I needed it. It kind of reminded me of when they did that Speedway collab, right? But I'm pretty sure this in itself is just a motorcycle print all over throughout. So yeah, but the thing is I ordered it and I'm pretty sure the Stussy, one of the, the warehouses is like right in Rialto, which is nearby me. So I ordered it on Friday, came in Saturday, said delivered, but my package was lost. So I'm tripping now, I'm like, yo, where the hell is my package? Um, search around, shout out to my mom, she was able to find it, the neighbors had it. They didn't know what Stussy was, but they had my, my, my jacket, they didn't even return it. So they, they're on my list, but I'm just happy to have it back. So here it is, all its glory. 
I have a, I've had a couple of these shell jackets in the past, and I gotta say, like this one, they definitely uh, changed the formula a bit. So let me just show some of that down. I noticed right here, now they actually got uh, these strings right here. This is where you tighten it, but and then some other things. The pocket, it used to be like two snap-on pockets. It's just the one snap right here. If you open it, still got a tag on, by the way. But if you open it, there's actually now like a mesh lining that goes around here. So that's pretty cool. Overall, now yeah, big fan of this jacket. Here it is on body. I think it just looks super sick. Super loud piece, you know. I think what makes this one a lot more of my taste is like the Stussy, look, even though it's big as hell, like you can't really make it out, right? But the way, it kind of just looks like scribbles. Really happy to get this. Even saw, uh, saw that sold out too. So if I didn't get my package back, I was going to be really sad. So really happy for this one. Opinions on the new season. The Stussy always going to drop some heat. They always going to do it. That Sherpa, that blue one, I'm going to look for that. When it go out on sale though. So yeah. Next thing I want to show off, I did a review video on it. Put it right here. Put it in the description. You guys should watch it. I pulled the trigger and bought some big boy boots. Spent a lot. Um, I never thought I'd spend this much on boots. But it was my birthday. I was feeling it. And yeah, so here is, is the boot right here. It's going to be the undercover Evangelion. Uh, it's like the buckle boot that they dropped, right? So this is with that spring summer. Made a bunch of sick clothes. Everyone knows the puffer jacket. I got the gloves. I got a lot of items from this collection actually, um, I was a really big fan. But this is the boot right here, and uh, I gotta say, it's called the buckle boot. I took it off because I thought it was trash. That was the big thing that was uh, stopping me from copying them, but then the more I looked at them, I just felt like they fit my wardrobe pretty well. So here's some of the details I just want to put out right there. Nice rubber material, Vibram sole, hold on, Vibram sole by the way. Uh, we got like where you put the laces, all these like metal loops right here no laces came with them though which i love um little zip in the middle camera cut off but yeah like i said there's a zip in the middle so it reveals the tongue really cool me this is just my type of boot one all black two it's japanese three it gives you extra height boost like this this is what i'm looking for in a boot so yeah really happy to own these got it off farfetch off a of sale definitely didn't pay that full price because undercover like I'm not sure if it's always been this way because I never really looked at undercover prices till like I had money to spend. But bro, their prices are so crazy. They charge like basement prices. But happy to have these ones. And yeah. Alright y'all, the next two things I got straight from Japan, straight from Bayi. I was feeling it. I decided to bundle up together and uh, yeah, this is what I got. Um, first thing I want to talk about right here. Big fan of this band. Black means. They're the Japanese brand, they do like leather company, they do all these denim, they do they do rockstar shit. I mean look look at what I'm holding right now. And I saw it, the price was right. I think I got this for like 115 and I just had to pull the trigger. Cause I just wanna see what it would look like. I didn't really see myself wearing it. Matter of fact, um I'll show you when I put it on body. I'm not sure if I'm too crazy about how it feels, but I might just use this as decor because this is really a beautiful piece. Things to talk about. We got the print right here. So I believe this is like the suggestionaries uh print right here. So you see the bag going on. You got this zipper right here. Black means detailing zipper too, which zips all the way down. And after that, we got the black means buttons right here that snap on, kind of like a overalls, which is really cool. And then let's get to the sleeves right here. So it's a bunch of stitching going on on the sleeves. But as you notice, these are fat. I like, you see, they don't get wider. So it's almost like a jean. So I'm still trying to figure out how to style it, get into it more later. And then at the bottom, there's also that same denim stitching going on right here. It kind of floats out like an overlapping pocket right here. Then it has a zipper. And then there's even a the one on the back too. It doesn't have the pattern, but there's a zip right there. All right, some of the other details that I want to mention about this. So yeah, like I said, these sleeves are mad big, but at the end, they give you this right here. And then I noticed there's one at the halfway and there's one up here. So I'm not sure if they wanted you to tie it up here and then fold it over. Um, what I've been doing actually is like what I'll do is I'll just spin it. I spin it and after I reconnect it, so at least makes the sleeve a little tighter. So yeah, you'll see me right now. This, here it is on body. I mean, we experimenting, you know, like this is kind of crazy. This is this is something where I feel like I need to just wear it to some something special, like an event. I'm not just gonna go out of my way wearing it, but I'm just happy to own it because the people at Black Means they make crazy clothes. They really do. It's really that rock star shit. So, yeah, still figuring out what I'm gonna do with it, but very happy with the price I was able to get. 
And I figured, you know, for my birthday, like, why not? Let me just pull it. I can just collect it for now. So. All right, and then the next thing I got from that package in Bayi, some good capital. And like, this is the goodest capital, the bestest, the bestest capital. I've never seen this before in my life. Let me know if you have though. But it's gonna be this capital denim bomber jacket right here. Full denim, like if you feel it, like this is really some denim on right here. But the unique details is, uh, it got a lot of really nice hardware on it. So let's just break it down. So. First things first right here. Look at the hardware. It got like screws, nuts, and bolts. It got a little tag right here. We got like this little leather on the zip. It has this really cool wash, like it should be washed over. None of it really the same. It got some spotty marks that look like some paint. And uh, yeah, here's the, the bomber side. Nothing crazy, but it does have that beige and blue. I feel like it's a pretty good match. And the back hit. Yeah, like I said, real, real nice and spotty, you know? Almost looks like it has stripes. So I'm vibing with this one, but what really won me over with this, I mean, it was a little pricey, right? How could I justify it? Oh, only if it's a two-in-one jacket. Surely enough, to do that. Uh-uh, and yeah, a whole other jacket on the other side. But it's even more hardware, too. So yeah, as you can see on the, what I do like is when you turn it up, and it's face the other way, you kind of see the marks of where it is on the other side. But on this side, we got like this military green, or not a military green, this is more like a really sun faded green, light green, and it has its own decals on this side, which make it really nice. Also with like, just like these metal beads and stuff. So here it is, zipped up, super sick. Um, one thing I will notice is that this right here, the denim still kind of shows. And at the bottom, kind of has like these denim marks too. Goes cool with my pants too. So yeah, just a pretty versatile jacket. I just like the way it has two on one. It is a, and I've never seen that, uh, this piece before, besides on rail. So, yeah, I just had to pull the trigger. Here it is on body. I think I like the green side a lot more than the denim side. But for a denim bomber, I feel like they did it a lot just with this one. I mean, capital don't miss when it's on the denim, right? So yeah, this is actually a size three, size large. And it does fit kind of small. But so yeah, size three does fit kind of small. That's to be expected with any like Japanese good that you buy. But I'm a fan of it. Um, it does. It doesn't like quite like I can't quite put a hoodie under it, but I can do it. I definitely wish it's a lot bigger because I think bomber jackets look better bigger instead of like form fitting. But overall, just happy to have this. And man, shout out to Capital. All right, y'all. This is a different day, but this is a new pickup that just came in. So let me just show it off. Once again, shout out to Korean people. Shout out to Korean people. Um, shout out Korean brands. Shout out to Ji Young Kim. I got another piece from him. And this one was very much, um, I was on Grailed, I saw it. I was just like, you know, let me try something different. The guy hooked it up. Shout out to Running Club on Grailed. I got this for 85 buckaroos. Um, it's gonna be the Ji Young Kim draped, uh, like, button type shirt. So it's gonna be from the... I believe it's the autumn winter uh, 22 season and it's pretty much like this button up shirt that got this drape effect that goes down um, and I gotta say I bought this it came in and I was just like yo what why did I buy this because compared to the product photo and what I got I was mad confused on how to wear it because it came in the mail like this you know what I'm saying it came like this the construction of this piece is wild we're gonna get into it but imagine you open the package and the shirt look like this and you see the you see the model looking fly like this rocking it, right? So that's what I'm thinking in my head. Um, but yeah, so I got it in. Still trying to figure out how to wear it and I think I finally got it. So a couple things to talk about. Um, what's supposed to be going on is you kind of have like this neck collar thing right here. And that on the back side kind of acts as the collar. And the drapes go down, right? So it kind of looks like it's like an extra layer of a jacket, which I think is really cool. And then it's just big and flowy and then when you get to the back side they kind of like crisscross right here so it gets that nice indent if you have a little t-shirt you know you get that little v showing so that's that's what's up um and then yeah kind of it's kind of like a henley vibe going right here we actually got hidden buttons that go all the way down it just has this one exposed and yeah so i pretty much just been experimenting how to wear it and what i figured out best is top button right here but we'll just take it out now we kind of got like a button up shirt and i feel like this just makes it a lot easier to rock i'll show it to you on body i've been figuring things out 
But yeah, very interesting piece. I was hoping I could wear this like, I don't know, to more formal outings. One thing I need to probably do is just iron the piece and it'll probably look a lot better. But now I rock with it. I was wearing it with like another just black jacket on top and underneath. I just think it looks really cool just the way it drapes down. And to get it for the price I got, I mean the retail is like 500 So that was crazy. Definitely a really good feeling material too. Nice beige uh, Dune 2, you know what I'm saying, look. But yeah, shout out to Young Kim. Um, I'd love to get more pieces with you. Hey, hit me up. Hit me up. I love this brand. Adding this part to the video, just want to show another quick pickup included with the birthday stuff. It's going to be the R Legacy Stussy uh, Fleece. It's like the liner type cardigan looking thing. I actually owned this before. I got it at the Stussy sale. Paid like retail. But it was size small. Sold it. Now I actually found my size size medium for a really good price. A couple things to note. Double zip right here. Got these open air pockets. It's like a fleece all around. It's pretty cool. Pretty cozy. Two front pockets. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, our legacy hit right here. And let me just throw this one on body. This one, I'm just happy to have this in my size now because I feel like it's real casual. You know what I'm saying? You just throw it on like a cardigan. can go with anything. I can wear this to work, whatever the vibe may be. Uh, I love the way the V is, it's perfect for the chain. You know what I'm saying, you see on body. Oh, of course, forgot to talk about this right here. Our legacy, yin and yang. So yeah, I got this for like, a hundred something. So, it's worth it, big fan of the collabs, you know it. Another pickup that I gotta talk about, shout out to my younger brother, he got me this for my birthday. Uh, let me just pop it off real quick, it's gonna be a little easy. A little Isimiyaki uh, watch right here. Um, yeah, so there's a white version of this, a gray version, or it's a gray version, and there's this version of this. You see, see give me this black colorway. Yep. So the way you strap it, you actually just kind of do a little fold maneuver, and boom. Real sleek watch. I actually I was able to get all my watches fixed. So now they fit my wrist. So a shout out to my brother, because he saw me behind this in Japan, I just didn't pull the trigger. That's on my wrist.